All right, so now we're at the water faucet and we're gonna look at uh, <clears throat> how to hook this line into a, uh, off of a faucet, off of a, uh, off a residential home or, or any kind of water faucet that, uh, that you may be using. We're also gonna look at uh, how to connect that battery timer uh, that, that again lets us auto-regulate that water flow. Uh, and just to get from the uh, faucet on the side of the house through a battery timer and onto a water hose and look at some of the components that it takes um, uh, to, to hook that up. I've already showed you, uh, like I said, the, uh, the battery timer uh, that we use. Now this comes uh, separate. I put this little, uh, uh, this little extension uh, that's on here. A lot of times when you're trying to hook these up to the water faucet, it's hard to work with and twist. You kind of skin your, skin your hands and things like that. So they sell these at you know, your local hardware store or, or uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, and you can get these, and it just kind of adds a little extension uh, on there, like I said, more or less just to free uh, kind of your hands up so they don't they don't get skin up in the process. But all we're gonna do, uh, like I said, is, is uh, screw the threaded end uh, onto our water hose there. All right, make sure that's good and tight so we don't have just a steady uh, uh, drip constantly as that flows. As you can see, that's kind of freestanding there. Okay, and at this point, <clears throat> I need to uh, connect my water hose. Okay, so on the bottom end of that pressure regulator, there's a threaded end that, that fits to um, the water hose. So that easily goes on here. All right, and I've got that uh, now set up. Uh, like I said, so I am going from my battery timer to my water hose. Now, uh, I've, I, at this point, I've got to get from the water hose to um, that black transport tubing, uh, wherever I'm going to move it, uh, like I said, from the hose. And if you notice, I've got a little piece here that's got a water hose fitting on one end with a little filter in there. Uh, and then it's got an adapter for that black tubing um, that goes on the end. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that onto my water hose. Okay. Got that on there. Now, I've just got a little short piece of tubing for, for demonstration here, but now at this point, I can get from my water hose to my transport line. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there. All right, tighten that down, just like all the other fittings, just kind of twist that tight. Okay, and so now I am to my drip components. Okay, so now I can modify this. I can take it wherever I want to um, I can add emitters where I want to. I can use a line that has built-in emitters um, for whatever I'm trying to uh, trying to water there. So very easy hookup. Uh, there's settings on this uh, this timer. Obviously, you can set uh, you can set the the time of day, uh, the start time that you want that to come on. Um, how long do I want it to run? Uh, you can do it. I think up to on this particular timer up to two hours. Okay, and you got to remember with drip irrigation, it's going to be long run times. Uh, because we're not putting a lot of water out uh, at one time. Okay, and then how often I can do it every day. I can uh, set particular days of the week uh, that I want to water. So a lot of options there. And then once I've got that set up, like I said, I, I put it on the auto uh, and it's going to operate. Okay, now I've got to make sure at that point that I cut the water on to the hose, to this. Okay, because if I don't, this this apparatus right here is regulating the flow and keeping it um, from running just constantly, okay? So I'm gonna leave that on. And like I said, my system is ready to run at that point. It's gonna run on the times that I set, uh, the days of the week that I set. And then like I said, the output's gonna be based on uh, how I have that thing set up.